Hi everyone, it's Jan Diatri and welcome to iHealth Kitchen where today we're making a real showstopper dessert. This is called English Trifle or Zupa Inglese and this is one of those wow desserts that everybody goes crazy over. Not only it looks beautiful but it tastes so good and you're about to find out how easy it is to put together an English trifle. So it starts with one box of yellow cake mix that I baked and cut into three layers and also two different types of fruit. Today I'm using strawberry and kiwi because it's uh, the two fruits that you can use, find all season long. And then I topped it with some berries. So I'm gonna give you some real great tips to making the English trifle. First of all, I mentioned that I had a yellow cake mix and cut into three layers. Let me tell you the joy uh, that I discovered once I realized that I could bake the cake in three different pie shells and have three individual layers saved me a lot of time and grief. So that's what I want you to do is just get three pie shells and you're going to make your layers. So we're going to start with the bottom layer of cake. And now I'm just going to build my fruit around it. I want to give you some tips. Normally, if I'm using kiwi and strawberries, and this is a great tip that caterers use when they're putting together a party platter, can you see all that juice and how watery that is? Well, that may taste good, but it kind of makes a little bit of a mess in your trifle bowl. By the way, you can find a trifle bowl anywhere, very inexpensive, and if you don't have a trifle bowl, you can just find a little cake, can, cake copper here and then use a glass bowl so that makes a perfect English trifle. Okay back to the fruit. If I slice the fruit right now see how watery it is but here's what caters do and I love this. Slice your fruit up and then lay it on a paper towel even for an hour all the water will seep down but all those beautiful flavors will be right there and that way once you start building your English trifle you're not going to have a watery mess on your hands. So I'm just going to go alternate between the strawberry and the kiwi. And you can use just about any fruit you like. Peaches, you probably don't want to use bananas, but you can, you know, really make the English trifle um, any, any characteristic that you like. So this is the first layer. We'll go all the way around. Now, what I'm going to put on top of the first layer of cake mix is some vanilla pudding. Just finish one more there. Very, very easy. Excellent. Let me just kind of do that. Okay. Now I'm going to put a layer of vanilla pudding. And years ago, the cook and serve was really the only pudding that we use, but now the instant pudding is actually quite tasty. So you can use that if you want. It takes a little bit less time, and you can also add just a shot of pure vanilla in it. So I'm giving that a nice layer, just like that. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is you're gonna end up with lots of different pieces of strawberry and kiwi. I added a little bit of sugar, and you can kind of put some brandy in there, some Grand Marnier, and just what that's gonna do is just when you spoon into the English trifle, it's gonna give it all kinds of flavor. You can actually put this first and then the pudding on top if you like. Again, I love this recipe because there's so many different ways you can do it. The second layer goes right on, and look at how perfect that fits right into your trifle bowl. You don't have to worry about cutting it perfectly. We're gonna to continue to layer that, and at the very top, I'm just topping it off with some boysenberries or some, you know, whatever fruit that you like. And then I have a little bit of dollop of whipped cream and then top that off. Let me show you what it looks like when we spoon it up. So whether it's a big, beautiful English trifle or the little minis, look at how cute this is for individual servings. You can do it in a parfait glass or a little cupcake holder or the mini trifle. People are going to go crazy and it looks like you've worked all day long and you saw how simple it was to assemble. So please enjoy the English trifle. It's actually called Zupa English, which means soup and that's what you're going to do. You're just going to scoop it out and it comes out very soupy. So you've got the wow factor here and it just tastes great over here on the plate. Look at that. Just mushy mm, and delicious. 
beautiful. We've got the recipe for you online right here at iHealth Networks. Isn't that lovely? Come back often. We're always making something delicious here, and we'd love to hear what's happening in your kitchen. So send us an email. Love to hear from you very soon. And we'll see you next time in the iHealth Kitchen right here on iHealth Networks. Thank you.